I got me a truck, a trailer, and a chainsaw. Stay back, I got a chainsaw. In zero dollars, can we go from zero to 100 million? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome back in here. This is episode 20 on our journey from zero to 100 million dollars. On this one here, I'm going to focus on trying to get our grass field back up to 100% and get it growing more grass. Because we can harvest it multiple times a year, so why not keep doing that? Now, it's going to take a little work, a little lime, a little fertilizer, a little bit of rolling, but we'll get there. Now to think about it, I guess I really didn't need to bring this back quite yet. I was going to use this trailer for something, but let me get my other tractor to start the lime, and I'm going to use this tractor and trailer to do something special also this episode. Got this nice vulture right here, so we're going to take it over there, grab the liming equipment, if I don't run into anything. <laughs> Probably will. But now, let's go ahead and grab that uh, liming spreader thingy, majig, whatever it is, and we're going to get it on the field. I'm going to hire a worker for that, and while that worker's going, I got some big plans for those wood chips, and hopefully that big plan makes me tons and tons of money, which I honestly think it will, because we need tons and tons of money. Not sure if 11,000 liters of lime will be enough. Let's go ahead and top this off before I hit the field because I don't want it to stop in the middle. Part of me thinks it will be enough because I really don't have to go up much on the liming. And we'll look at that once I hit the field and I'll show you those statistics whenever we get there. Y'all may remember I did make some changes to the field around that rock. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all these courses and remake new ones. That way they can navigate around that rock a lot better. Got the worker off and going right there. Nice big cloud of lime right in my face. Maybe I should fire that person. But you may be able to tell down there in the soil information under precision farm and it does say ph value good i guess it's good enough we don't actually need to apply any but it's only going to go from 6.75 all the way up to seven so really not much lime is going to be applied at all i had 44 percent in there let's see what kind of percentage is used now because i did fill it up to 100 percent. but also looking down there you may be able to tell that the nitrogen is bad that is horrible also grass fields do not take much nitrogen so shouldn't be too big of a deal and i don't think i got any equipment to lay down nitrogen because that came inside the planter uh, that's a problem i wasn't thinking about this is is a pick up anything wagon by Mark Thor. It is on Mark Thor's Discord page. He makes some outstanding mods. So if y'all are interested in, check out his Discord page. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use it to pick up the wood chips here on the ground. And we're gonna take these into town. I don't have anything in town. I wanna put them in yet, but I am gonna get something built up and ooh, drive right up on top of that. Oh, got those all picked up, and I just realized I had my clock speed on zero times speed. My bad. I do try to keep it on five times speed to kind of keep it progressing, but every time I come into an episode, I put it on zero and kind of look around and everything. Try to figure out what I'm going to do this episode, because I really have no idea what I'm going to do half the time, and I'm probably going to change it up from what my plans are already. This is what I'm going to put in for the wood chips right here. This is production pellets. It can run on either straw, wood, or wood chips. Obviously, I got a whole bunch of wood chips, generally. So let's make a little bit more money, or a lot of bit more money, because these pay really good. Don't think it's cheaty or anything like that. I did ask a few people on Discord about what mods I should use for wood chips. I was recommended this, and I was recommended a paper factory made by Game Enjoy. Now, the paper factory made by Game Enjoy, I am having some difficulties getting it to work or getting it installed. So that's on my side. I know a few people that are using it works just fine. So I got something wrong with me, but I still highly recommend that paper factory, even though I haven't used it yet. I trust the person that made it and trust the people that recommended it. But this will get the job done for now. So we're going to go ahead and use this right here. I do need to smooth out that ground a little bit. I'm going to put it right over here. I want to smooth it out first before it deforms the ground and makes everything all messed up. I really thought there was something that had to be done on the backside, but I'm not seeing any trigger points on the backside of this building. So I think I'm good. Let's go ahead and place it down right here. It's going to do the job. I mean, obviously we're not getting through that door. Don't need to. And this door back here, we're obviously not getting to either. Don't need to do that either. At least I don't think we do. I believe all I need to do is unload right here and possibly pick up right here i don't know i'm new to this one so we'll figure it out together there's a cell point that comes along with it i want to get and we'll look at the reason for that after i place it down now i'm not going to take this cell point far away at all it's going to be right next to the building i don't think i'm actually going to move this product myself either i'm just going to end up putting it on automatic selling most likely so we'll set that right there and we'll look at the sell price differences between that and my sell everything oh no looks like my firewood's full maybe i don't know because look at this one right here this one's stacked so i'm hoping they all will end up being stacked not sure how much wood chips this production holds but we got 394,841 liters right here let's go ahead and get this dumped off in here oh wait nope is that where it dumps off yep it is there it goes okay Ooh, i was worried wow that did not take much at all over here at the wood chips pellets we're gonna go ahead and activate that one right there and then the pellets right here we're gonna go ahead and set on selling and ooh, that is going really fast too well, it's already going up, up, and up right there. Now, the real question is, how much is it going to sell for? It's going to sell for quite a bit. Here's what the wood chips currently sell for. So I was selling these wood chips off for $48 per thousand liters at the sell everything. Now, let's look at those pellets. Those pellets at the sell everything are $1,600 for a thousand liters. And those pellets at the pellet sell 
spot that I put next to the building is $2,400 for a thousand liters. Also don't know if you caught the production output, but it's actually pretty good. A thousand wood chips go in, 2,000 pellets come out. That is pretty, pretty good. Now that's gonna automatically sell. I got a feeling that it's gonna fill up each hour before it could sell off in time. But oh well, as long as it keeps selling, I need to figure out something to do with these wood chips though so they can distribute over there automatically. And now that I think about it, this might do the job. Nah, I guess it won't. Looks like there's no wood chips as outgoing product there. So won't work, darn. I currently don't have enough money to put in some sort of automatic distributor thing over here to hold all these wood chips and distribute them automatically to basically keep me from having to come over here a lot. Don't have it yet. We're $20,000 away from that. So hopefully we can get there and we'll get that money. But right now we got to finish work. Let's go ahead and jump over there. See how that's going. Oh, obviously I knew it was finished. So I guess it's going good, right? Ended up using 60% of the tank here. So yeah, that 44% I did have in here would not have been enough. So altogether about 15,000 liters because this was a 25,000 liter capacity. And we are currently down to 10,241 liters. Back in the shop menu now, checking out the sales items, seeing if there's anything I can use for applying fertilizer. Looks like we do have this slurry spreader here. Wait, is that a slurry spreader? It does say Field Master on it, so I think it is. Not quite interested in that yet. And then we have this right here, which I'm assuming is probably a slurry spreader also. I've never used this before. Yeah, that thing is pretty nice. Pretty nice. We definitely don't have enough money for it, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. I like this Kubota one here. We'll add an extra $20,000 to it for a wider working width of 40 meters here. And obviously that's not all I'm going to do because I need some more capacity. There we go. XL $5,200 on top of that. So $91,000. We don't have that. We're just going to go and lease it for right now. And it's already going to cost a lot of money for the fertilizer. But $4,600 to lease and maybe eventually we will buy it. Full tank of liquid fertilizer right there for $13,500. Ooh, ooh, that money is dropping, dropping. I need it to go up to hundred thousand so i can automate that wood chip operation y'all may have forgot but this trailer and dang i just hit that but y'all may have forgot but this trailer and this tractor have been used to fill up our greenhouses with some liquid fertilizer i'm gonna go ahead and top that off some more don't want to spend too much on there but seven thousand dollars for that and that puts us up to 8100 liters and that blue trailer right there is our water trailer that's used for these greenhouses also another great thing about that distributor i want to put in it also holds water and will automatically distribute water over i want to drop this trailer here switch out these tractors over here because I got some good work that that other big tractor could be doing instead of sitting there doing nothing. I believe this tractor can dump this trailer. I just don't need it to pull it. I got a couple options of what I can actually do with this tractor while the worker is going on the field and that is I guess there's really not a couple. <laughs> the only thing I can do is go remove trees and drag them into the tree distributor building I have over there in the tree area. Well not gonna do that because I'm about to need this for the roller. I believe the roller I have is so big only this tractor can pull it and I don't even think I can use this roller now. I think about it because I'm pretty sure it's leased and I need a mulch roller. Yes, it is leased. Hmm, that's not good. And it is set up as a field roller right now. It'd be nice if I could buy it, but I don't think I can. Gives me the option to return it right there. Let's see how much it costs to buy it. $134,000 to buy it. So you know what? That's not happening. Let's go ahead and get it returned. And then I'll get me a mulch roller that will work great on this grass field. Now y'all may be wondering why I'm going with the mulch roller instead of a grass roller. Here's the grass roller option. Here's the mulch roller option. There's a mulch rolling bonus. Just a very, very small bonus associated with that grass. I'm going to go ahead and roll it anyways. Might as well get just just a little bit more percentage. I think it's like one or 2% extra. Might as well get it anyways. So this one right here will allow you to get it because it does the mulch rolling, mulch and rolling. All right, I'm gonna lease this here. Got some blue chromish color to it with some orangish color rims. Let's lease that for $7,400. This seems like it's not worth it now. It says we got to finish worker up there and that was the fertilizing that was being applied to this grass field. I'm sure it didn't use much. It's right over there in the distance. And I'm gonna go pick it up and move it out of the way. But first, let me get the roller set up. And that tractor I got over there, I'm gonna use it for something a little special. Like I thought, it barely used any grass fields don't take up much and you can tell on that mini map on the bottom left there normally a crop field would be a brighter green color and obviously the darker the red the color is the less fertilizer that's applied to it so that's a great thing about grass fields they don't take much so eventually i will switch over to slurry or manure from my animals to save on some money even though i don't think i'll need to but still quite a bit left in here 88 percent let's go ahead and get this parked out of the way for right now i really need to get some sort of storage in here eh, maybe one day it's all looking good out here on the open plains right i believe i don't have to do the rolling but there's a reason why I do the rolling, if I can remember correctly. It's been so long since I've done this. But right now it says field info, growth, harvested. Let's go over here to where it already rolled. And now it says growth stage one of three. So it speeds up the growth process and I don't have to wait another month for it to enter that growth stage one of three. So I'd say it's a win-win, right? And where is my expected yields at? Oh, there it is right there. So we're at max expected yield right now. Expected yield 89%, yield potential 89%. If I did not have that mulch part on there, it would say 88 or 87. Now that I think about it, I don't know why I brought this over here. I was going to use it to drag some trees in, but if I remember correctly, last time I was 
just using that semi to just go ahead and pull the trees in because it's a lot faster. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know what would happen if I run over these trees we planted. I don't think anything would happen, but let's get a good look at these. Here they are right here. Nice little trees coming in. I believe they were oak trees. So we'll see how that goes right there. If you all left some comments of different trees I should try to plant and different benefits to those trees, really do appreciate it. Any tips, tricks, or suggestions, always welcome. Keep them coming in, please. But I'm going to cut down some trees while those workers are going away. Well, this is my first trailer here, and oh my gosh, I might park a winch in the way. Guess it's time to put that thing up. All right, like I was saying, this is my first trailer here. I do have quite a bit more out there on the ground. I'm not going to worry about it because I believe all the field work is done. Let's go ahead and get this dumped in here. We're at 263,000 liters right now. That puts us up to almost 320,000 liters. Quite a bit of wood. I don't think I need to keep it that high, but I do have plans to put in some more wood production type things that's probably going to eat right through that. Let's go ahead and get this parked out of the way for right now and jump back over to our field, see what's happening there. This pellets production over here is still going and it's going fast and I'm having a hard time keeping up with it. Getting close to $100,000 I need for automatic distributor, but let's try to get that in before I wrap up this episode because I want to show you all how that works. Why not? And all I got to do is wait till the next hour and I'm pretty sure I'll have enough money because look at that wood pellets down there almost 7,000 liters. And what was it, $2,400 per thousand liters? Yeah, we're pretty good. Let's go ahead and fast forward over to the next hour and then we're gonna put something in. Hey, there we go, that's pretty fast. $115,000 is our balance right now. And that's not the only stuff selling off. Do have other stuff selling off each hour also as automatic selling. Yes, I am losing money there, but it's also allowing me to advance faster and it's saving me a lot of time. Here's what I'm gonna go ahead and use right now. This is silo storage and distribution pack. Now I do have multiple sizes in here. There's one for $20,000, which would have worked fine. It only holds 100 thousand liters though of each type listed on the list in the bottom right so 100 thousand liters that's not enough this one right here holds 400 thousand liters that's not enough long term but it's enough for what i got in the trailer right now and it will do the job so let's go ahead and use this right here i'm gonna place it right about here i think would be a great spot I'm sure this tractor is gonna struggle but we're gonna get this over there to that distributor and unload it in there here it is in the production chains menu right here small silo holds quite a bit of stuff all these products right here can be put in here and automatically distribute to it or from it now i just need to find the one that says wood chips because there's wood chips in here you know what click on here we'll scroll down on the bottom right right here's wood chips because it has the most now that's the filling portion of it where's the algo and right here algo and products let's go down to where it says wood chips right there almost full we're going to switch that over to distributing and that will distribute over to our production automatically i'm completely done don't have to touch it don't have to keep refilling it every couple hours it's going to keep raking in a bunch of money until those wood chips are gone i'm gonna go ahead and get this tractor put back over here with that liquid fertilizer tank and i just really want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching really do appreciate it. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section because they're always welcome and very much appreciate it. Until next time, y'all take care.